Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to The Buzz with Bernadette. Oh my gosh, I feel like it's been forever since I recorded. And if I have to think how long it's been, then I have to say, I don't know, it feels like maybe four or five weeks, dare I say. Anyway, so I'm in my new setup. I'm in my little podcast room, as I like to call it. I've brought my familiar, beautiful little pink trees over from my last setup. I've got some nice little pink tub chairs. And you know, you never know what you find when you're unpacking all your stuff. Um, well, I knew I had this. This is a staple. And then, like, look at this. A pink lip phone that used to be mine from God knows when. See, my brand and my aesthetic has always been the same, always. So um, anyway, you don't even understand how many takes it took me to actually get here to where I am, to recording today. Like literally, you know, being in a new setup, it's like the first day at school. It's like you just walk in and you're like, okay, um, I was look, looking at all my equipment going, I don't even know how to use this anymore. Last time I spoke to you, I was in a beautiful pool in Bali with my friend, Tracy, sipping on a cocktail and Then next minute we came back to Perth and I hit the ground running with like, you know, I started slowly. I thought, you know what, I don't have to rush into um, this new place. I can take my time. I can um, pack at my own pace. But, of course, I'm a very impatient person and I need everything now and I need it tomorrow and I want everything set up straight away. So... I basically started off doing a few little car trips over to the new place and um, and I hadn't even booked my removalists in actually at that stage. I was just happy doing car trips going, yeah, no, this is all good. And then it just hit me one day like, what are you waiting for? Like, hurry up. We've got to get going. We've got to get in the new place. Like, let's start. And um Yeah, so then I booked in my removalists and there's another funny story like, welcome to the show, let's start. (laughs) So there's a funny story about the removalists, right? Um, So basically I used these removalists before, really great guys, um, two guys that work together. And so I said to them, can you book me in for, I think it was the 8th, I want to say the 8th because that's one of my favourite numbers and um, and I knew I wanted to book it in then. And so when I made the call, it was about a week before the 8th of October and the guy said to me, um, oh, my gosh, no way, we are booked in, we are booked up for the next two weeks and I said, are you sure though? Are you sure? Because like, you know, I, you know, anything could happen. Like someone could cancel, you know, so, you know, and these, this guy is a real joker. He's a real comedian. So I know I can talk to him like that. And um, so anyway, I got off the phone and I was like, yeah, I really want to move in next week. So, you know, if, do, if I don't hear from you in the next like 24 hours, then, you know, I'm going to have to book with someone else. So he goes, oh, okay, all right, no worries. So get off the phone, keep unpacking, keep, you know, going through all the boxes, etc. cetera. And, um, yeah, and then I get a phone call from him like 15 minutes later. Like I'm not even joking. And he goes, you are not going to believe this. And I went, get stuffed, like get out of here. And he goes, I had booked a lady in for the 8th, but she was travelling to I think it was China the next day. And um, so she wanted me earlier and I didn't realise that she wasn't happy being booked in the day before, so she cancelled. Um, and booked someone else and didn't tell me. So I just rung her back 
as a courtesy just to see, you know, because you wanted the eight. So I rang her back to double check and she said, oh, no, no, I've already booked with someone else because it was, you know, inconvenient for me to have removal list the day before I leave, you know, on an international trip. I was like, you are joking. And he goes, keep doing what you're doing. You've got the angels looking after you. And I was like, this is fantastic. So that was a very good sign. So I was able to move in or move all my stuff over on the 8th and that's when the nightmare began. And that's when, <laughs> and that's when I was just doing the unboxings of the most unfavourite kind um, where you're literally there just cutting open boxes and it's they're, they're not exciting packages from PR companies, I can tell you that much. So anyway, so that's that. Now usually today I've got my extra device next to me so that I can have a look at my live YouTube comments at the same time and today I do not have that in front of me because after my 52 takes to do to get this set up <laughs> I have realized that I forgot to put my um my secondary device to log it into the new wi-fi details so I I won't I'm gonna go into my little chat system here and just see if I can see it um let me see no no don't think I can see that. But anyway, so that is very good. <laughs> now, so when you're moving, when you're moving house, you uh, there's a lot of things that you go through, a lot of um, tests mainly on your patience and your, um, you know, your abilities as a person to stay sane. <laughs> so, but I feel like, I feel like me and my partner passed all these tests. We actually did really well. Like, so one of the major things that I really wanted, I've wanted all my life is my perfect makeup desk. I spend, you know, a good part of the day every morning sitting at my makeup desk. I really enjoy doing my makeup. Like I really find it like therapeutic, like you can get a cup of coffee, cup of tea and just sit there listen to a podcast, listen to or watch 10 minutes of a show that you've been watching or something and just do your makeup and relax and unwind, unwind before the day starts. Um, almost like meditation, you know. So, um, so I've always wanted this particular makeup desk and I got it from, I actually was walking into Fantastic Furniture and I found it there. It's just basic. It is so basic. I saw all these amazing, beautiful ones online, like, you know, with glass tops and then, you know, spaces un between, um, underneath where you can put like jewellery or makeup or whatever underneath. But they were too fancy. And, and honestly, I'm a practical girl. If it looks like it's going to take too much cleaning or, you know, I'm just not going to be really down with that. So all I wanted was, was a nice basic white desk with lots of drawers on either side. So um, I found my perfect desk from Fantastic Furniture. It wasn't too much. Found a beautiful pink chair as well to go to go with it. And um, I was set. All we had to do was pick it up in a box and bring it home and assemble it. And I'm so lucky that my partner is really, really good at that kind of stuff. Um, but he wasn't going to do it on his own. He wasn't going to do it just, you know, as a favour to me. He likes to do things together and he likes for us to share the experience together. And lucky I'm very, I'm a very strong girl. I'm very, um, I'm very good at this kind of stuff, even though I, do, I don't want to admit that because I really don't want to do that stuff. Like I'm actually good at it, but I don't want to be good at it. Like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. So I'm very handy. But anyway, so I had to help him do that. And we actually ended up filming ourselves building that. And I think I put a copy of it on YouTube and TikTok. But um, 
we actually did not fight for the whole process of putting that together and it was an actual miracle. One one thing I want to know though is that because I pressed record on the phone and I said, honey, I'm going to record this or is it because he's just likes building things and he really likes, you know, to do that. We weren't actually living here at that stage. We literally were building things, unpacking things, and then we'd stay here till about 8.30 and then we'd go home. So we weren't even like having a proper dinner. You know, we were trying to like have a celebratory drink in the house as well and then going like we had to have a half a glass of champagne and then go, oh, then we've got to go home. Like, you know, and it was sort of like it's always like bittersweet moving into a place because you want to just enjoy it. But there's so much work to do. So you never get that kind of closure of like, yay, cheers to the new house. It would just be so nice if you could, and I know you can, I know you can hire people to get all your stuff, move it all in, set it all up and it's all done for you. But how does that work when you are a control freak? How does it work when you know, like, you know, you want everything in its place? And as it is, I have had my mum here most days or almost every second or third day helping me and sort of like, you know, cleaning shelves as I put things down and, you know, stuff like that. I'm really, really lucky to have that help. But it's like, and as it is, like, you know, it's even hard to tell, it's just hard to tell anyone how you like things done because you're the only one that's going to know you know, how to do it. So it is very hard, but there is many bittersweet joys with moving into a new house. So that's, that's my little story on the, um, makeup. Now, as for moving into a new area, like I also feel like, and it's happened to me before, like there's allergies, (laughs) like I am suffering so bad at the moment. And I actually, was wondering how I was going to get through this episode because I was like, before I started, I took an antihistamine because like my eyes are literally turning inside out. There is so many trees. It's so windy. It's springtime. It's summertime. It's like, it's crazy weather at the moment. And I am just, I was suffering so bad. So anyway, and um, I put it on my stories and everyone said to get the same the same uh, hay fever tablet. So I've done that and it um, seems to be working. So, yeah, but I don't know. Does anyone else suffer from allergies like when they move or going into different areas? Because I've moved about three times now and it happens every single time. Um, Yeah, so if you've got any other remedies out there, please let me know. Um, Yeah, so the good thing, the good positives of being a content creator, the good positives about moving into this house is I feel like I have space, I have room to like go and film my content, I have – great spots outside, roomy places inside and I can start setting up those little places as well to sort of like get started. But um, yeah, so there's just so much. I'm just going to go through my little notes now. Um, So if you are thinking, you know, look, she's looking quite glowy. No, it is my hay fever kicking in. (laughs) Um, I'm actually feeling so like blah, but anyway, what I've got, um, in store for the podcast coming up is I've got so many guests that I've got lined up. Um, but then of course, you know, hit a really busy time. So I've had to sort of put them on hold. I put a few things up on my stories and I was pleasantly surprised with, um, a lot of the people that actually, wanted to come on the show. So I will be having uh, um, quite a few guests lined up to come on the show. It's just a matter of what 
order I'm going to be doing them in. I did a poll up on Instagram last night and it seems that most of you really want to hear gossip, like most. It was about 80% of people that said they want to hear gossip Um, and also personal stories, which is why I got into doing podcasting in the first place because I've always been interested in in um, people's uh, personal stories and I feel like everyone has a book inside them everyone has an amazing tale to tell and that's why I really got into podcasting in the first place so um, yeah so I think that will be um, an important part of my interviews moving forward you know, listening to people's stories, how they got where they are, how they got or how they're going to get where they want to go. Um, So, yeah, so make sure you keep in touch on my Instagram to just, you know, I'm very active on the DMs. So make sure you uh, let me know, give me some tips, whatever you want to talk about, who you would like me to interview. If there's anyone even in town that you think, oh, my God, I'd love you to talk to them, put them forward, tag them. (laughs) Um, Yeah, so I think today I might leave it at that for now. Um, It was just a little welcome back. I didn't just want to hop on next week and go, hey, this is my first guest uh, without coming in and, you know, saying hello and welcome and testing out my new little background as well. So hopefully I'll be better prepared next time and I'll be able to see my YouTube comments. Stay tuned, stay fabulous. I will see you on the first episode back next week and I will see you then. Okay, bye.